Hi, and welcome to the movement map. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of this new tool to show you all the different ways that you can use it to search for groups in British Columbia and Northern Canada who are working on one or more of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Let's start exploring. So you'll see here on the left hand side, you have a series of tools that will open up. There are two ways to make searches on this map. You can use the filter functionality here on the left, or alternatively, you can use the search criteria in the search bar up here on the right. And so let's demonstrate first the filters. So here you have the 17 sustainable development goals. You're able to select as many or as few of them as you'd like. And you'll notice that as you select them, you'll get a little check mark on the side and the goal will stay lit up to indicate that it's been selected. And you'll also have this box here up here on the right titled search criteria and it will tell you as you go along just what you've selected. So let's also select gender equality. And so you'll notice that in brackets here we have and. Uh, this denotes that this type of search that you'll be making with the filters is an and search rather than what is known as an or search. And so what you'll be getting is results where groups are working on all of these things simultaneously rather than just maybe a combination of them. So the next filter we have available to us is the focus regions and countries. So this is for groups who are based in Canada but who are focusing their work elsewhere in the world. Uh, where is that work being focused? And so you'll see you can put your cursor right into the box and you can select a specific country or even a combination of countries. So again, you can select as many or as few as these as you'd like. Alternatively, if you want to select an entire region, you can hit the select all box and that will make sure that all countries in the list that apply to that particular region will be simultaneously selected. And so for home region, you can select either British Columbia, the Yukon, Northwest Territories, or none of it at this time. Uh, we are still gathering data from the other provinces and that will be something we hope to roll out in the coming months. Um, so here in British Columbia, you can select BC and you'll see that you also have the option of selecting one of the sub-regions within the province. And you can do that, or you can choose to just leave them all blank, which in this case, you'll select groups who are working anywhere in the province. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, so international domestic, um, this is where you can select if you wanna see groups who are working internationally or within Canada or both. I think I'm gonna leave that one blank. And in this last filter, you'll be able to see whether or not organizations you select are members of the BC Council for International Cooperation. And so from here, I'll hit filter and off we go. So we have 27 groups in our search result. You see there's a box down here on the left that tells us just how many groups we have in our results. Um, you can kind of see them, they're clustered right in and around here. We've got some groups in Kelowna, we've got some groups in the Lower Mainland, uh, we've got some groups on Vancouver Island. And you'll see now that instead of showing filters, this panel on the left is now showing our search results. And so here we've got Universal Outreach Foundation. Let's click on them. And you'll see that the map is now zoomed in to this group's office. And now our results panel has changed for a third time and it's now showing a little bit of information about Universal Outreach, the various SDGs that they're working on and a link where you can learn more about them. And so this will happen, you're able to click on pins at any point on the map. So if we go back to results, You'll see all these pins on the map. You can collect on any of them that you like. So let's click on World Neighbors Canada. And you'll be able to learn a little bit more about them as well. And so if you once you've made a search and you decide you want to make another search, which we encourage you to do, you can go all the way back to the filters. And you'll see all the pins have once again appeared. Your search criteria is blank and you are able to go again. If at any point you want to clear all your search criteria as well, you can hit this reset button down here. And so a second way that you can search groups on the map is through this search button up here. This is if you wanted to look for a specific group or even search a specific keyword that pertains to something you're interested in. So let's 
let's try that out. Let's put in the word peace. And so you'll see once I've entered five or more characters, a whole list of groups are populated here. And so let's look at the Northern Society for Domestic Peace. I can hit go. And you'll see once again, we've zoomed into this particular group. And we get a panel here showing us a little bit more about them, the groups, the goals that they're working on, and where you can learn more about them. And so, of course, we know that we probably haven't got everyone on this map, and we also know that maybe some information has changed for some folks. So that's why we have the Add and Edit Organization button up here. We also have an Update button for every single profile that is currently on the map. So if you notice something that's just not quite right, we do want you to let us know, because we do want this map to be as useful for everyone as possible. So if you do see something, hit Add or Edit. What you can do here is you can tell us who you are, um, you can tell us the correction that we need to make. Um, you can add a full new group, or if the group exists, you can start to type it here. You can find the group, say it's the Comox Valley Peace Group. You can autofill the form, and that will populate all of the information that's currently showing up on the map. And you'll be able to edit that right away rather than type it all in manually. And if once you're done, you'll be able to hit next. Um, you'll be shown a screen with the sustainable development goals. And you'll be able to select and edit just what goals a group is working on as well. And you'll be able to submit the form. And a member of a team will get back to you once the change has been made. So thanks very much for joining us on this quick tour. Uh, we will be doing a few more map sessions, and so we hope you'll be able to join us for those. If you have any questions or comments about this map, the staff at BCCIC, we really welcome your feedback, your questions, your comments. Uh, so you can get in touch with us at bccic.ca. Thanks so much, and enjoy exploring.